is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got Adriana Michelle with me. I, I believe you've got Remington with you. I do. He's sleeping on my lap right now. I just settled down. <laughs> ah, okay. Now you started working. Where are you working? I'm working at Pine and Patchouli in Perth now. So I do this a couple days a week, and then uh, I still I'm running uh, Live Life Awaken, and I do Adriana's Army stuff. So. Excellent, excellent. You're a busy person. You're a busy person. Now, I thought maybe today we could talk a little bit about what, what you, you refer to as transitions, which, is, you know, you and I have talked many times about, you know, self-care. Uh, we're both adults. Uh, I, I just, I see so many uh, young people are, are graduating now. They're graduating from grade eight. They're graduating from high school. They're moving on. They themselves need techniques into, you know, some of them are just nervous even walking across the stage to get to their diploma, much less moving on and, and, you know, endeavoring their goals in life. So I thought maybe we can talk a little bit about that. Yeah, of course. So, you know, one of the things with when we're transitioning to a new phase in our life or really we're going through any change in life, I think one of the most important things I've learned anyways um, is to make sure you actually acknowledge the grieving process. Um, because I, for example, like I didn't realize, um, you know, after my transplant that I would have to grieve the loss of my old heart. Like that didn't even cross my mind during the wait. Um, but then after the transplant and I had a new heart, I realized that I had to mourn the loss of the previous heart that was in me for so many years. Um, and so, you know, for, um, you know, more relatable, uh, you know, like you say, like kids are graduating right now. Um, so, you know, it's important to maybe sit down with your kids or whoever's going through this transition and just ask them what were their favorite parts about, you know, public school or high school or whatever and allow them to bring up those happier memories that way they're able to look back at it and not dwell on the past and instead look at it and think oh like I learned this or I met this person and you know I think that we know when you grow up um, you look back and you just kind of think like oh like I'm glad that happened because then this happened or then I met this person and they led me to this person um, and so you know I think that we're so used to, um, you know, society and, you know, outside external forces telling us that when we look in the past, it means negativity and that you have to dwell on the bad things that happen. You have to, you know, you create anxiety with yourself if you're dwelling on the past, and if you're not able to let go of it. Um, and so, you know, one of the things I had to do was write out a list of gratitude and it was all the things that I was gratitude for what that previous heart gave me. Um, and, you know, that really helped me cherish that heart even more and able to move forward. Um, and gratitude is one of those emotions that when you're in gratitude, it's impossible to have anxiety or to be stressed or you know, feel those negative emotions because when you feel grateful, it brings you an energy of love. And when you're, you know, bring closer an energy of love, that really helps you, um, you know, just feel whole and allow yourself to just fill yourself up with all that love and gratitude. Um, I made a post literally yesterday on my business social medias for Live Life Awaken. Um, and it was an affirmation about how it's okay to release the energies that no longer serve you and to release those thoughts that no longer serve you and to just welcome in that new start, that new positive energy and allow that positive energy to take over you. Um, and I think that that's such a great tool. Um, but, you know, if you're really, um, like you said, you know, struggling to walk across the stage for your diploma or whatever um we've talked about this before but eft so the tapping on your emotional um or sorry on your energy centers and meridians within your body um that is a great tool 
to, you know, just get yourself more grounded, more subtle, um, take some deep breaths, of course. Um, but you know, the most common one, and we've talked about it before, is just simply tapping on your heart and just breathing in deeply and breathing out deeply and just allowing yourself to be grounded. That's the other thing is that we get so busy and so caught up in life that we forget that, oh, like it's okay to slow down. Um, so just remember, it's okay to slow down and just remember those memories that you had. And, you know, when I say look back in gratitude, don't disvalid yourself of anything bad that has happened either. Um, you know, when you look back and there's a negative experience, look back at it and see, okay, I got through that. And then it helped me later on get through another situation. And so just allowing that strength to follow you and all that courage to follow you through into your new stage of life um, is always important. I really like that. Look back in gratitude instead of dwelling in the bad stuff. Yeah. I like that. I like that philosophy. And I, I, that's a perfect way to put it, too. Uh, just, uh, we've got so many young uh, folks that are graduating, moving on to their next phase of their life. We, we wish them well. We know they're nervous. And sometimes plans change, too, just much like yourself. My goodness. I mean, sometimes people, their career paths change. You had to get a new heart, and, and you're so happy <laughs> now. So look at this, you know? Literally. <laughs> Yeah, and you know, and I see so many people after school, and I'm not saying that college is a bad thing by any means, but it's okay to take some time and figure out what you truly want because, you know, other I've seen so many friends of mine, you know, they rush out of high school and they get into college and they're a month or two into college and they're up to their eyeballs and stuff and they're like, this isn't even what I want to do. And so, you know, and I think it's just so important for high school students that when you get out, it's okay to figure yourself out and it's okay to figure out what you truly want um, because <laughs> you can go to school as many times as you want but you want to make sure you're going to school for the things that you truly want That's and right. that you want to follow you in the future as well and it's okay to change your mind <laughs> absolutely exactly yeah exactly. I, I was going to be an architect and here i am a journalist and a social worker i don't know what happened <laughs> well it's funny i actually um I went, I originally was going to be a PSW. <laughs> and then I went into uh, medical office administration, a ward clerk, and that's when I got sick. And then by that time it was, there was a lot of complications to go back to school. Um, and yeah, so then I went on my own path and started my own business. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. Originally, when I was really little, I wanted to be a veterinarian, but then I found out there was more to it than playing and taking do dogs for walks. So. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, no, I'll build houses, and now I'm a social worker and a journalist. So things yes, happen, exactly. and we just go with the flow.